Get what you missed on. Pearl Overdrive. Sana. Uh, bringing us to our devotion moment and you know today we're just talking about ac- accountability partners and um, one thing i like about uh, being accountable is that it it helps you to um, you know just align your priorities because you find many of the times we we set goals you know and it's good to set goals it's good to have a direction because goals give you a direction but first and foremost we need to make sure that we have smart goals and also we are not just making them for the sake of it's the beginning of the year everybody has to have a goal, Mm -hmm. you need to know exactly where you're headed because where your friend is headed is not where you're headed. So their journey cannot be your journey. And probably, you know, uh, they started working on whatever they're working on a long Mm -hmm. time ago and you can't catch up with them when you say, me, I want to be this by October or by December, I want to be here. Mm -hmm. So you need to, uh, you know, you you need to look at yourself, you need to analyze yourself, where you are at and where you desire to be. And one thing I like what you said, Brian Aseli, it has to be very um, logical, you know, because again, if you started working on your gift, for example, or your talent uh, three years back, I can't compare when, when I'm working on it right now. True. You know, because you have more skill, you have more experience, you have more exposure. So you can't start comparing yourself and saying, me, I want to be like so and so and yet you started working on it right now. Mm-hmm. It's a journey and, and you need to, to trust the process and we need to ultimately um, leave it to God so that, you know, we plan, but God is, is the one to establish our plans. And, and that's exactly why we would like you to just delve in deeper into the word because it gives you directives on, on what you should do. The Bible verses that uh, often give us reminders, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. Mm. But it does not mean that you just go to any form of iron because you might go to someone who you you don't match with, Mm -hmm. you clash with most of the time. And that's why I'm saying you need to establish yourself as an individual. Mm. Know yourself. Don't peg your your greatness to someone else's Mm. because you are on different and separate paths. Yes. Because you can be my accountability partner partner but i'm doing really well mm. than you yes that does not mean that you should not be my accountability partner mm. it only means that you should now embrace change in that you can ask the person uh, your accountability partner what can i do mm. to make sure that i go on to the next level yeah. it's true to say that you can have an accountability partner who's male or female but you have to be really precise about what you would like to happen uh, in that in that uh, form of uh, knowing each other because it can go south really quick. Galatians 6, 1, 2 says, Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Mm-hmm. Keep watch on yourself, mm. lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Fantastic. I'm yes. going to share uh, Proverbs 16 and verse 9. It says, In their hearts human plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. So we need to plan, yes, but let's involve God. Let's choose to involve God in our plans and just allow his will to take over. Because at the end of the day, his will will always, um, you know, supersede our will. So mm-hmm. let's allow God you know, at 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 God for twenty years before twenty twenty. Exactly. So we need to just allow God to, you know, do his will because his will will always supersede our will. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray that you may find an accountability partner. Mm. That's our prayer. Cindy. Yes. Join Brian Aselli and Joannick on Peril Overdrive. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m.